So, for a while now, a popular politician, very influential one at that, and his ex-wife have been in the news over the custody of their children. According to reports, the ex-wife has been complaining that this man, this politician, have taken away her children and denied her access to all four of them. There are speculations that this case is dragging because the man in question is also a very influential politician. But recently, this woman um, came to social media asking Nigerians for help saying that, listen, she needs access to her children. The man, on the other hand, showed a video of the children and a nanny Nannies. trying to predict, or is it nannies, predict that to, 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 um, to I'm looking for the word, to Fish. depict that they are happy oh. and they're doing well. So the question, therefore, mm -hmm. is when a woman is married to a highly influential person and they go their separate ways, either in divorce or separation. <clears throat> what laws do we have to support a woman in getting access to her children? And that's really the question here. Okay, for me, I think um, most parents are selfish when it comes to issues like this. Uh, you get into a relationship, you claim to love each other, and then for whatever reason, <coughs> the love goes sour and you want to take it out on the children, the innocent children who did not beg for you to bring them to life. So for me, uh, aside the court, I know the court will take its time and they work based on the evidence they have in front of them right. and how they assess it, which is I can't fault them, that's the justice system. But you as a parent, how are you concerned about the emotional trauma you are going to be giving to that child? Every child needs the father and the mother. I'm not saying especially the mother. The father and the mother, if they are healthy, if they are mentally okay to take care of the child, they need that. And now that one of you is out of the house for whatever reason, why do you want to deny access to the other person? Even if it's to come and, even if you are going to supervise, okay, I'm going to be around when you come and see these children. Come, have a good time with them, and then go. We continue our fight outside. Why do we have to allow these children bear the brunt of our misbehavior? Um, this particular story that we were talking about, um, even though that video was supposed to show, look, the children are happy, but it, it looked even more sad to me. Mm -hmm. It looked sad to me because if they're so happy, why is the mother on the outside crying just to see them? I know the um, politician in question also said, well, she has access to come and see them in the house. But we have heard stories of domestic violence. And I can understand how um, a person may not want to put themselves in the situation where they were violated, you know, in the essence. And there's, no, um, there's nothing wrong in finding a neutral place for her to visit while the person, the father is there supervising. But ego, the ego is not always a bad thing. Yes. Now, is, in this situation, could, could it be, if I, if I were in the woman's shoes, let's put ourselves in that woman's shoes right now. Mm. And this man who, and I, I, this topic, this, this question is probably for talk with, this woman who, this man who you fell out with and he maybe, maybe allegedly beat you up and he had a really serious breakdown with you and you hate him with every fiber, fiber of, your, of being. your being. No problem. But he has given you a condition. The only condition is that you come and see them in my house. You as a woman who desperately want to see your woman, will your you children. put aside your own ego too mm. and say, okay, because of that, mm. I will go with a talk a guide or so somebody mm. to follow me. Okay, I want to go and see my children, even if it's once a month. You, go, you also swallow that ego. Mm. But is there a, that ego toss you're talking about where both sides are not willing to, um, to make room for, 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 for the children in this, in this regard? What do you think? I think that you cannot expect, expect rational behavior from people going through emotional trauma. Mm. Fantastic. And in most cases, when there's a bitter separation, both parties are going through emotional trauma. The challenge is two elephants fighting, the grass is the children, the children get to suffer in between yeah. this. So it's important that what the, the wiser one in the party seeks professional help and deals with him or herself so that they are more rational in relating with the other party that might not be that rational at the moment. So for me, if it is the woman, because you're the one coming to social media crying, mm -hmm. like, so obviously you desperately want to see your children. And, there is, I, I cannot imagine what she's going through. So my, my thought would be, do all that you can. Bend over backwards. If you feel that 
you need to go through some, you need to psych yourself to be able to get into that house. Psych yourself because you are making this sacrifice for, for the your children. children. If for any reason you now get attacked again there, we would understand that you have done, you have gone far above and beyond. If he says you are not allowed into the house to even meet the children anyway, we can understand that, but I believe that you must exhaust all peaceful Option. options before mm -hmm. going online. Because social media never forgets. And this thing, these children, they will grow up and see these things there. Yeah, so it's is. important that we protect our children as much as possible. But I, like I started by saying, we cannot expect rational behavior from people who are going through emotional trauma. Mm -hmm.